The hunting horn in Monster Hunter World is the hammer's musical sibling, allowing you to play crunchy jams whilst also smashing monsters over the face. Sort of like playing musical chairs, where you smash things with a chair to music. So not really like musical chairs at all. A phenomenal weapon that allows you to perform support functions whilst still being a deadly offensive force. Every single weapon in Monster Hunter is intended for offensive use you to be getting stuck into the action and landing your attacks against them. This includes the hunting horn with its support functions. You're still intended to be in the fray, face to face, toe to toe, taking your giant set of bagpipes on the end of a massive mace, smashing monsters right in the dick. In this guide, I'm going to go over the weapon's combos, what skills are useful for it, and provide a selection of good ones to craft to get you going. I'm lighted up, Dan. On this channel, I love to produce content that aims to reduce the overwhelm and unknown of the Monster Hunter games. If you haven't caught any of the event roundups or the all weapons overview, there is something there for everyone. I highly recommend you check them out. Very quickly before we jump in, a massive thank you to all of you who have really turned up and gotten us to around 80% of unsubscribed viewers on the channel. With the majority of you returning, if you enjoy the videos, do subscribe. Let's get that down to 50%. And with that said, let's get to it. Each hunting horn comes with a bunch of predetermined songs that you can play, the buffs and the attacks that the weapon can do, which are performed once you've banked the correct notes for the melody. Having stored these, when you then perform the song, you will initiate the buff or the attack. That's the core premise of the weapon. Looking over at the notes, you can see that there are four different inputs. That means you've got four separate attack inputs. Your three core ones with Y, B, and Y and B, and then your left trigger attack, which you can do in between in a combo. With the initial three inputs, that is Y, B, and Y and B, they each have two regular attacks. Let's call them attack one and attack two. Standing still and initiating the attack inputs will start off with attack one, and then a follow up with attack two. Conversely, if you're holding the left stick, you will initiate with attack two and then follow up with attack one. This is the same for each of those three attack inputs. You're also able to transition between notes with attack 1 and attack 2. For example, if I do attack 1 with Y, I will then follow up with attack 2 with B. Not only this, but all three attack inputs mid-combo can also do a quick jab when you hold back on the left stick and use the attack. This is the same jab across all three of the attack inputs, and works in the same way with comboing between attack 1 and attack 2. Yeah, I know, it's very complex, there's a lot to distill, there's a lot going on. Bear with it, as you try it out, more of it will make sense and it'll click. Your Y attacks are a slap from the left side over to the right, and an overhead dunk. Your attacks with the B input are a slap from right to left, and then a double slap from right to left. Your Y and B attacks are an overhead swing moving backwards, followed by a forward overhead dunk. This mixture of attacks which you can use in a highly modular fashion to your liking gives you so much versatility to deal with such a huge variety of situations. The left trigger attack you can do spins your hunting horn in place, dealing a tremendous amount of damage, and can only be used mid-combo after another attack input. This works very well with the back jabs you can do with any of the three inputs, allowing you to quickly combo going back into the left trigger attack. So we've taken a look at all of our notes, the different note attacks they've all got, how the three core inputs have got attack one and attack two, how they're all able to do the back jab as well mid combo, how you can combo between the different notes, and do the spinning attack with the left trigger as well. Now let's actually take a look at using these notes and putting them into action so that we can perform the buffs and attacks. Your song, or rather, your dong sheet, is in the top right corner giving you all of the inputs you need to play the different melodies. Simply play the notes required for the ability you wish to activate, which you'll see getting banked up over on the music sheet to the left underneath your sharpness, indicating which notes you need to play next when you are one away from completing a melody. You can bank up to three melodies at once, and you can use the same note that one melody finishes with as the starting note for a different one, allowing you to be more efficient with your inputs. For example, attack up L finishes with that red B note, which will allow me to go straight into banking up the knockback's negated melody, which also starts with that red B note. I would go straight into Y and B after that. Does that make sense? Well, it better, otherwise we're going to be playing some musical chairs together, you know what I'm saying? There's no better teacher than bagpipes to the face. Once you've queued one or more songs up, it's time to perform them with right trigger, which is your perform.
performance attack input. Yeah, there's a fifth attack input. I've saved it until now to not overwhelm you even more so. When performing the melodies, you can hold it down to play through as many of the stored songs as you want to. Or looking at the music sheet and using the specific input to play the specific song you're after. With right trigger by itself playing the top one, or Y and right trigger for the middle, or B and right trigger for the bottom. After playing through the song or songs once through whilst holding down right trigger, you can then tap it and hold it again to immediately do an encore, doing a follow-up performance attack to lengthen and strengthen the song. Yeah, there's two performance attacks as well, and they're kind of complex, we'll go over that in a sec. It can be just extending the length of the melody, or it can also be powering it up. For example, attack up L turning into attack up XL when encored. For your performance attack input, you have two attacks, attack one and attack two, for each of the four compass points. So a different attack one and attack two for your performance attack input when you're holding forward on the left stick, compared to when you're holding left or right or backwards. If you're not holding a direction down when you press right trigger, it will do one based off where your hunting horn is positioned off the last attack that it just did. I get that that sounds completely crazy and probably very overwhelming. If you head over to the training area and just mess around with doing the different performance attacks after you've banked one or two songs up, experimenting with holding the left stick in various directions, you will understand what I mean. And similarly to the three core attack inputs, performance attack one and attack two can be very modular between the different compass direction attacks. So you can do performance attack one forwards and then performance attack two backwards, for example. These in and of themselves are very strong attacks and should absolutely be a core part of your combos. It can be a little bit tricky to fit it in, but with some practice you will get it down. Hunting Horn is one of the instant tenderizing heavy weapons as well, which is super useful too. When it comes to skills specifically for building for Hunting Horn, it is really forgiving, because the only one you really want to go out of your way for is to get two levels of Horn Maestro, which greatly increases the effect duration of Hunting Hunting horn melodies. A no-brainer, an essential. But honestly, other than that, it's all flavor, it's all comfort, it's what works for you. Maybe you want three evade extender and five evade window as well. You may wish to capitalize on the weapon's enormous stun power and spec in for levels of slugger. You may wish to spec in for level five earplugs so you can perform your melodies without getting interrupted as much. And level five earplugs is just always boss, let's be real. Somewhat of a side note, but your echo attacks scale off raw damage and can never critical either. So if you've got a dragon echo attack, which is very powerful, don't worry about pumping dragon elemental damage, for example. That's the skills taken care of. Let's take a look at some you can craft to get you going. First, we've got the Guild Palace Bard. The Guild Palace weapons are always a fantastic early choice into Iceborne with whatever weapon you're playing. Decent raw with a bit of white sharpness and 10% affinity, a level three gem slot with a bonus 30 defense. For melodies, we've got attack up large, health boost large, wind pressure negated, defense up large, impact echo wave, and max stamina up plus recovery. An absolute powerhouse of melodies as well. Such a good option to start with, and it looks absolutely killer. All hunting horns have the self-improvement melody, which, when played once, improves your movement speed, and when encored or played twice, gives you mind's eye on your weapon so it doesn't bounce off monsters. Effectively, something you should always have active. It's fantastic. This one definitely gets a mention because it's a Vespoid tree weapon. How often do you see that? Decent raw with white sharpness, neutral affinity, and 420 paralysis with a level 4 and a level 1 gem slot as well. For melodies, we're looking at stamina use reduced large, all wind pressure negated, defense up large, ice resistance boost large, sonic waves, which is like using the sonic pods, max stamina up plus recovery, and elemental effectiveness up. Stamina used to reduce large and defense up large, both pretty epic melodies, not a bad choice. And again, aesthetically, looks very cool, very unique. The upgraded Velkana Horn 100% deserves a mention here. Good raw, white sharpness, neutral affinity, a little bit of ice elemental, and a level 4 gem slot. Another powerhouse of melodies with attack up large, health boost large, wind pressure negated, defense up large, with impact echo wave, and max stamina up plus recovery. Anything with attack up large is very good, 
as it encores over to attack up XL, which is a tremendous boost for you and your entire squad. With defense up XL and maximum stamina recovery just being so cozy as well. Oh, wield a giant bell end with the gold cord maker of the Rathian tree. Great raw with good white sharpness and a phenomenal amount of affinity. 420 fire elemental and a level 2 gem slot as well. Some really cozy melodies here with stamina use reduced large, all wind pressure negated, defense up large, ice resistance boost large, sonic waves, max stamina up plus recovery, and elemental effectiveness up. Very unique aesthetically with great all-round stats and some really cozy melodies. Definitely one to consider. You're only going to get to this pretty late though because access to gold Rathian is very late in the game. And honestly, by then you probably got much better. We've got the Rune and Gigante tree, Ruinous Desolation. Great raw with a big chunk of white sharpness, neutral affinity with some dragon elemental and high elder seal, complete with a level one gem slot. Some very cozy melodies here with health recovery small, which actually heals you, affinity up and health recovery small again, earplugs large, which is level five earplugs, super cool, echo wave dragon and extended health recovery, which is the Valhazak super health recovery. Everyone in your team is gonna love you for earplugs large. It's so cozy. We've got the Frost Fang Barrier Bringero. Great raw, purple sharpness, and a massive chunk of white sharpness. 15% affinity with a big chunk of ice elemental as well. Three different versions of Attack Up Small, which do not stack together. They are the same song, but just with different melodies, which will encore to Attack Up L rather than XL. Fire Resistance Boost Large, Sonic Waves, Impact Echo Wave, and Elemental Effectiveness Up. Good on the melodies side, but excellent on the weapon stats side. A fantastic choice. Onto the cream of the crop, we've got the Furious Rajang Demon Lord Wardrum. Great roll with a big chunk of purple sharpness, 15% affinity, and a chunk of thunder elemental too. Attack up large, health recovery small, recovery speed large, which is the rate at which you recover the recoverable damage, impact echo wave, and extended health recovery. Again, the super health recovery. Another absolute powerhouse with fantastic weapon stats too. You just need to make this thing. The Raging Bracadios Light Break Tamba. Great roll with a sliver of purple sharpness and then a chunk of white. Neutral affinity with a great amount of blast status elemental. A level 4 and level 3 gem slot as well. Effectively the super version of the Teostra Hunting Horn. Your melodies have scout fly power up. Abnormal status attack increased. Super good with blast. All ailments negated. A very powerful defensive buff. Divine protection needs no introduction. Just insane. With echo wave dragon and speed boost plus evade window up as well. What an absolute monster of a hunting horn. Bring this along to a raging bracky fight, for example, and you and your teammates don't need to worry about getting blast status ailment at all. Just so cool. And then, of course, the ultimate hunting horn, the upgraded Fatalis Menace Whaler. Phenomenal roar with purple sharpness, negative 20 affinity, all the Fatalis weapons have that, we don't like it, some dragon elemental with high elder seal, and two level 4 gem slots. For melodies, we're looking at all melody effects extended, which allows you to not have to queue up all of the songs once more to extend them further. Very, very powerful. Knockbacks negated, attack up L, impact echo wave, and impact wave dragon. An absolute powerhouse of a hunting horn once more. You get knockbacks negated and attack up XL going, and then for the rest of the fight, you just queue up periodically all melody effects extended, blasting out your attacks and echo wave abilities. I mean, damn, you're good. You're good. It's the ultimate weapon for a reason. It's insane. And it's a goddamn electric guitar. Look at it. With Hunting Horn, you are afforded excellent mobility and movement speed, particularly after you've played the self-improvement buff. It dishes out an absolute ton of damage and KO as well, outbonking the hammer even. Its stun power is insane. Very versatile attacks that gives you a response to any situation. And of course, the only support weapon that allows you to do these group buffs, these melodies, inbuilt into the actual weapon itself. Suffice to say, this is an absolutely incredible option. It is one of the best weapons, if not the ultimate weapon. Absolutely rivaling Sword and Shield for that ultimate weapon spot, in my opinion, in my eyes. Have you tried Hunting Horn before? Is it something that you've been thinking about picking up? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you. As mentioned at the
at the start. Thank you folks for really turning up and getting us to around 80% of unsubscribed viewers on the channel. With the majority of you returning, if you enjoy the videos, do subscribe. I'm aiming to get that down to 50%. If you're looking for an open, inclusive community full of awesome, mature players, grouping up our Monster Hunter world on Monster Hunter Rise across all platforms, come and join the Discord and let's get some hunts going together. We also live stream with open lobbies, open sessions over on YouTube here and on Twitch as well. I will leave all of these links for you in the description. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you in the new world.